All right, guys, hope you're having a good weekend so far. Uh, we're going to get to prime factorization in class on Monday. Prime factorization is something we have covered uh, in the past. There are two different numbers we're going to look at today. They're going to be classified as prime or composite. Prime or composite. Now, the definition of a prime number is a number that only has two factors. And those are 1 and itself. only thing that will divide into the prime numbers are 1, which 1 will divide into everything, and itself. A composite number has more than two factors. Okay, so prime numbers, one in itself, composite numbers, more than two factors. So let's look at some examples. These are going to be some examples of prime numbers. If I found out which numbers went into 7, the only way that I can multiply whole numbers to equal 7 is 1 times 7. That makes it prime. Same with 11. It's simply 1 times 11. Now, a lot of people will look at it and go, well, those are odd numbers, so does that mean only odd numbers can be prime? Nope, that's not the case, because 2 is also prime. The only way I can multiply to get 2 is 1 and 2. And then 13 is 1 and 13. So those are some examples of prime numbers. Now let's look at composite numbers. Let's make a factorization tree for these. I can multiply 1 times 4 to get 4. But how else can I multiply to get 4? I can go 2 times 2. So the true factorization is 2 times 2 times 1, which if we write that mathematically, that's going to be 2 squared times 1. We'll leave the 1 out of there because we know 2 squared is going to be 4. How about 9? I can go 1 times 9, and then 9, I can go 3 times 3. So this factorization is going to be 3 squared. Just for sake of space, I didn't write out 3 times 3 there. Now, 24, I'm going to make this one a little smaller because we're going to get a lot more numbers here. We've got, um, let's go with 2 and 12. I'm going to eliminate the 1. I probably shouldn't have put the 1 on the other ones because um, I end up just getting the 2 times 2 and the 3 times 3. My 2 is a prime number. When I have bigger numbers like this, what I like to do is when it's prime, I like to circle it because it's done. What's another way I can get 12? Well, I could do 
3 times 4. And 3 is a prime number, so I'm done there. And what's another way I can get 4? And 2 and 2 are both prime numbers. So how would I write oop, I don't know, alignment issues? There we go. How would I write this prime factorization? This would be, I want to get my screen over here. There, give me a little bit more room. This would be, how many twos do I have? I have one, two, three. So this is going to be 2 to the third power, and then I have 1, 3, so 2 to the third power times 3. Okay, let's look at 30. 30 is going to be 2 times 15. 2 is a prime number, so I'm going to circle it. 15 is going to be 3 times 5. <clears throat> And there's my prime factorization there. So that's going to be 2 times 3 times 5. Now that's pretty new to, or that's pretty uh, familiar to us. What if, board's just a little bit off. What if I took 16 x squared. What if I did 16x squared? Just like we did in the past um, with, our, uh, with our dividing rationals. Let's look at the number and the variable separately. So let's factor 16, so I'm gonna go 2 and 8, 2 and 4, and then 2 and 2. And again, once they get prime, I like to circle them. So how many 2's do I have there? I've got 4 of them. 1, 2, 3, 4. So that gives me 2 to the 4th power. Now, how do I factor my x squared? What times what equals x squared? x times x. And so in my prime factorization, this would be 2 to the 4th times x times x. So that looks just a little bit new. Okay, guys, I hope you're enjoying your weekend, and I will see you on Monday. Um, just to have a little fun with this one, let's, let's do this. On Monday, um, I'm having a uh, quite a few people who are not watching screencasts. So if you are watching this screencast Monday morning or afternoon, depending on which class you are in, come up to my desk and simply say, Mr. Reno, your hair looks nice. And then I will know that you have watched the weekend screencast.